Uh, one more note on this. One of the unintended consequences of President Trump's focus on the FBI and McCabe and fire director James Comey is that he seems to be helping Comey's book sales. Check this out. This is the pre-order uh, for a higher loyalty. This is Comey's book comes out in a month. It's already number two on Amazon, even though the book is still not out. Uh, I think this has a lot to do with the president's tweet yesterday. Comey responded to the president by saying, the American people will hear my story very soon, and they can judge for themselves who is honorable and who is not. So Comey's book, number two on Amazon, number four on Barnes & Noble. Jeff, I think it's a repeat of Fire and Fury. The president's angry, uh, anger at Michael Wolff actually helped sell copies of Michael Wolff's book. Yes, and you, you know what it takes to be, I mean, Michael Wolff's book is unprecedented. It might have sold as many as a million copies, but 61 million people voted for Donald Trump. And the, the question to be asked is, is any of what you're describing uh, not only going to move the Republicans in Congress, but will it move the people who voted for him and find him their hero? You know, the, the, possibly the most accurate thing the president's ever said is the famous line that I could go out on Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody and it <laughs> wouldn't change my ratings. And at times I almost think he's trying to semi-test that theory. Hmm. And so far, one of the questions I would ask my colleagues, anybody else, is what could Trump do? that would make his base gay say, uh, maybe not. So divides in the media uh, are partly a, just a, a symptom of a greater divide in the country. Yeah, absolutely. Involving profound partisanship. Tribalism. Uh, that we're suffering from. Yeah. yeah.